Brainwise presents Grade 1 Math Quiz B Part 2 Beep beep! Math alert! This is a special bulletin for all super smart cookies out there. Brainwise is bringing you a math quiz that's out of this world. Get ready for a brain boosting adventure filled with fun puzzles and tricky questions. Think you can handle the challenge? Buckle up, Brainiacs! And let's blast off on this math-tastic journey! Easy round. Number 1. Which of these is the heaviest? Again. Which of these is the heaviest? The choices are A. A feather B. A book C. A bicycle D. An elephant The correct answer is D. An elephant. Number 2. If the hour hand is pointing to the 3 and the mean eat hand is pointing to the 6, what time is it? Again. If the hour hand is pointing to the 3 and the mean eat hand is pointing to the 6, what time is it? The choices are A. 3 o'clock B. 6 o'clock C. 3.30 D. 6.30 The correct answer is C. 330. Number 3. Which is shorter, a ruler or a crayon? Again. Which is shorter, a ruler or a crayon? The choices are A. Ruler B. Crayon C. They are the same length. D. Cannot tell without seeing them. The correct answer is B. Crayon Number 4. Which would you use fewer of to measure the length of your classroom, your shoes, or your fingers? Again. Which would you use fewer of to measure the length of your classroom, your shoes, or your fingers? The choices are A. Shoes B. Fingers C. You would use the same number of each. D. Cannot tell without trying it. The correct answer is A. Shoes Number 5. If you measure your desk with your hand span, will it be longer or shorter than if you measured it with a ruler? Again. If you measure your desk with your hand span, will it be longer or shorter than if you measured it with a ruler? The choices are A. Longer B. Shorter C. The same D. Cannot tell without trying it. The correct answer is A. Longer Woohoo! You guys cruised through the easy round like math superstars! But don't get too comfy because things are about to get trickier! Are you ready for the average round? I bet you are! Let's see if you can keep that amazing energy going! Average round Number 1 David measured the length of the classroom with his feet then he measured the length of the classroom with his friend Sarah's feet. Whose feet took more steps to measure the classroom? Again, David measured the length of the classroom with his feet. Then he measured the length of the classroom with his friend Sarah's feet. Whose feet took more steps to measure the classroom? The choices are A. David's feet B. Sarah's feet C. They took the same number of steps D. Cannot tell without seeing their feet? The correct answer is B. Sarah's feet. If Sarah has smaller feet than David, she needs to take more steps to cover the same distance. Number 2. The clock shows 
What will the time be when the mean eat hand moves all the way around the clock face? Again, the clock shows 2.30. What will the time be when the mean eat hand moves all the way around the clock face? The choices are A. 2 o'clock B. 3 o'clock C. 3.30 D. 6.30 The correct answer is C. 3.30 Number 3 A basket is filled with 4 apples and 4 oranges. Is the basket heavier when it is full of apples or full of oranges? Again, a basket is filled with 4 apples and 4 oranges. Is the basket heavier when it is full of apples or full of oranges? The choices are A. Heavier with apples B. Heavier with oranges C. The same weight D. Cannot tell without knowing the types of apples and oranges. The correct answer is A. Heavier with apples. Number 4. Mom says dinner will be ready in a half hour. The clock shows 5 o'clock now. What time will dinner be ready? Again. Mom says dinner will be ready in a half hour. The clock shows 5 o'clock now. What time will dinner be ready? The choices are A. 4.30 B. 5.30 C. 6 o'clock D. 6.30 The correct answer is B. 5.30 Number 5. You have a small bucket, a watering can, and a bathtub. You use the small bucket to fill the watering can with water. How many small buckets of water do you need to fill the bathtub? Again, you have a small bucket, a watering can, and a bathtub. You use the small bucket to fill the watering can with water. How many small buckets of water do you need to fill the bathtub? The choices are a. Fewer buckets than the watering can. B. More buckets than the watering can. C. The same number of buckets as the watering can. D. Cannot tell without seeing the bucket and watering can. The correct answer is B. More buckets than the watering can. A bathtub holds much more water than a watering can. Wow! You guys are math wizards! The average round definitely didn't slow you down. But now it's time for the ultimate challenge. The difficult round. Get ready to flex those brain muscles because these questions are going to be tough. Good luck! You got this! Difficult round. Number 1. The mean eat hand is pointing to the 9. The hour hand is pointing between the 4 and the 5. What time is it? Again. The mean eat hand is pointing to the 9. The hour hand is pointing between the 4 and the 5. What time is it? The choices are A. 445 B. 920 C. 409 D. 545 
the correct answer is A. For 45. Number 2. Sophia has a jump rope that is 10 of her hand spans long. Her brother, Matteo, has a jump rope that is 8 of his hand spans long, whose jump rope is longer. Again, Sophia has a jump rope that is 10 of her hand spans long. Her brother, Matteo, has a jump rope that is 8 of his hand spans long, whose jump rope is longer. The choices are A. Sophia's jump rope B. Matteo's jump rope C. They are the same length D. Cannot tell without seeing them jump rope The correct answer is D. Cannot tell without seeing them jump rope. Number 3. The bakery opens at 8 o'clock. It closes 5 hours later. What time does the bakery close? Again, the bakery opens at 8 o'clock. It closes 5 hours later. What time does the bakery close? The choices are A. 3 o'clock B. 1 o'clock or 1 p.m. C. 11 o'clock D. 12 o'clock. The correct answer is B. 1 o'clock or 1 p.m. Number 4. Imagine a clock. The hour hand is pointing somewhere between the 9 and the 10. The mean eat hand is pointing to the 8, which is a possible time shown on the clock. Again, imagine a clock. The hour hand is pointing somewhere between the 9 and the 10. The mean eat hand is pointing to the 8, which is a possible time shown on the clock. The choices are A. 8.50 B. 9.40 C. 10.08 D. 9.08 The correct answer is B. 940. Number 5. Leo measured the length of his toy car using Lego bricks. It was 7 bricks long. If he uses smaller Lego bricks to measure the car again, will the number of bricks be more or less than 7? Again, Leo measured the length of his toy car using Lego bricks. It was 7 bricks long. If he uses smaller Lego bricks to measure the car again, will the number of bricks be more or less than 7? The choices are A. More than 7 bricks B. Less than 7 bricks C. 7 bricks D. Cannot tell without seeing the Lego bricks? The correct answer is A. More than seven bricks. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You've made it through all three rounds of our math quiz challenge. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome learning adventures. Keep those brains buzzing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! How do you
did you go? Let me know in the comments below how many questions you got right. Check out other videos from BrainWise.